What is up? My name is Julia. And I recently just passed my x-ray boards So I am officially considered a registered radiologic technologist, which is so exciting I am stoked to finally have those credentials that I worked so so hard for and I wanted to share with you guys Basically the main way that I studied for my boards exam 95% of the time I used Rad Tech Bootcamp to study not only was it the best way that I found to relearn the material that I forgot But it was also a good way to kind of get myself thinking in test mode so i'll kind of share with you guys how i used it as well as how to kind of utilize rad tech boot camp to your best ability i know a lot of you guys are curious about the price points i also asked you guys over on my youtube community page to ask some questions and just to kind of gauge your guys's interest on this video in general i don't think i want to share specifically the score that i got on my exam however if you guys are curious i feel like i'm pretty comfortable sharing my exam score so if you would really like to know i would probably feel comfortable talking about it in the comments of course passing is everyone's main goal so that is why i'm not going to verbally share my score in this video it's not something that's ultimately important at the end of the day what is important is that i passed and that i'm knowledgeable in the field of radiography so i'm going to pull up your guys's questions and we'll kind of go through that and then a little later in the video i'm going to talk about how i used rad tech boot camp personally and then some of the features that, that rad tech boot camp offers i've been talking to the founder and the ceo of rad tech boot camp his name is ari and he is so nice i actually had a zoom meeting with him back in march kind of when quarantine like very first started and he walked through rad tech boot camp completely for me and he showed me all of the features that are offered on rad tech bootcamp and kind of the things that people should really be utilizing when they're using the website but ari if you're watching this thank you so much he truly is the reason that i pass my boards because of rad tech bootcamp like the idea of this website is incredible so a really big shout out to him he is so awesome so ari was so nice to offer you guys a discount code so it is julia rt and it's 10 percent off subscriptions and it runs through december 31st 2020 so if you guys are coming across this video a little bit later hopefully you guys can utilize that discount code and hopefully get a little bit of money off of your subscription so all of that will be written in the description box for you guys to reference so we will get started with the questions so the first question is just finished my first semester when do you think it would be beneficial to start using it it meaning rad tech boot camp it seems expensive to purchase for two years time i started buying stuff right away for studying for boards and some of the things that i bought i ended up not even really using i used them for a little bit but i didn't find that the material was really sticking with me and to reference those things that i did buy it was flashcards and books so i unfortunately didn't really learn the greatest using flashcards and just like a book that you flip through and answer questions i wasn't really learning anything and the knowledge wasn't really sticking with me so i think it's important to invest in your education of course that's kind of why you're going to school and boards is seriously the biggest part of all of this like yes graduating and getting that degree is amazing but you really can't do anything with your degree until you get your registration and you pass your boards so i think it's important to invest your money into something but that is just my own opinion so i hopped on the website and the monthly subscription which is an automatic charge each month is 33 dollars per month so i think that's actually a decent price for a month to month and i see it's also a 30 day money back guarantee so if you don't like it you can get your money back you can cancel at any time and then you have access to all the videos quiz questions interactive images exam question bank things like that so their pricing is listed on the website if you guys are curious i will link that below as well otherwise for a one-time charge which allows you one full year of access it is 230 dollars for one year so a price breakdown of that 230 divided by 12 is 19 dollars a month so yes it is kind of a lot to fork over 230 dollars at one time especially as a student but like i said it's going to offer you the best way to learn the material and my own opinion that i seriously learned so much with rad tech boot camp so this is also like a supplemental learning it's not only for boards review it's also useful for people who are in the program so i actually wish that i had rad tech boot camp in my first year of the program because it allowed me to really learn physics i am such a visual person and rad tech boot camp has those interactive videos that i mentioned which i will show you guys a little bit later but that is really what helped me to learn physics and x-ray interactions and so much of that stuff that's just in over our heads most of the time when you just read it on paper 
So you save $166 with that deal. And again, it has like the 30 day money back guarantee and things like that. You also can access Rattag Bootcamp on your phone and on just like a regular computer. That's kind of my take on pricing. I think it's worth it to invest in your schooling and for any other thing, you would have to put money into purchasing something like flashcards. My flashcards were like $50 and then my one book that I didn't use was 80 on Amazon. So, so that right there adds up. Next question, when did you start using Rad Tech Bootcamp? Would it be beneficial to use this during the first couple months of our program or in our last semesters? I started using Rad Tech Bootcamp in, I think it was March or maybe even February. I really started using it though in April. That's really when I like took the reins and started using all the interactive videos, especially since I had more time because of quarantine and we didn't have classes and stuff. So I would sit down, watch the videos, take notes, things like that. I think when you should start using it, it will be entirely up to you and your preference. Like I said, I think it would definitely be beneficial to first year students, but it's up to you when you want to purchase it. But I think it would be mostly beneficial in your last semesters if you wanted to use those mock questions that I talked about, but that's entirely up to you. I personally would have used it when I was taking physics, which was in my very first semester. There's kind of a lot of repeat questions kind of similar to that one. So hopefully that kind of answered your guys' question regarding that. Next question, do you think Rad Tech Bootcamp would help students that are going into the program? So I personally wouldn't buy it if you're not already in the program. Like I would buy it once you're accepted, once you are in the program. I just don't think it would be beneficial to people who are kind of clueless to anything radiography wise. I would definitely suggest starting Starting when you actually are in the program. Why did you choose Rad Tech Bootcamp versus Rad Reviews app? So I actually looked up Rad Review. I really didn't like the way it was formatted. I actually used some of their um, sample questions and not really sample, but it was like the, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it was like the trial version of it. So I really didn't like how it was set up. I didn't like the layout of the website. I don't know, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was worth it to have two different study materials. I did read an article actually that it is important to kind of focus on one formatting of questions. So whether you choose one website or another, just to kind of stick with that, that way you don't kind of confuse yourself. Rad Review Easy's questions were kind of worded strangely in my opinion. Plus I was recommended Rad Tech Bootcamp literally when I started the program from a bunch of the second years. Um, a lot of them used Rad Tech Bootcamp to pass their boards and then of course they told us about that and then a lot of the texts that I worked with in clinical, they told us about Rad Tech Bootcamp too. So big advocate for RTBC. This question was about whether to choose the monthly or the yearly option. She's leaning towards the monthly route since she plans on taking boards soon after graduation. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing what's best for you financially and I guess on your calendar and timeline because if you are taking your boards in three months, it probably wouldn't really make sense for you to have a year's access. So that's entirely up to you. But um, she said that she is graduating in the same program as Nikita, which if you guys are familiar with any of my x-ray friends that also do use YouTube. Nikita is also a YouTuber that is a radiography student, so I will link her channel down below. She is so sweet, obsessed with her videos. Her son is literally the cutest, but she is so sweet. I think it's pronounced Kashia, but that is so cool. Happy to see that you watch my videos. So thanks for commenting. Did you only use Rad Tech Bootcamp or other sources as well? I've been using Kettering, Lange, and Rad Review. So I actually didn't use any of those. Um, well, I had to use Lange for my one registry prep class, but I didn't like the way that Lange's questions were laid out. I thought that they were extremely difficult. I just didn't because I was never recommended them. It's not like one's better than another. I was just never told about Kettering or Rad Review. Rad Tech Bootcamp was just the one that a lot of the classes above mine had recommended. Is Rad Tech Bootcamp only for the state's board exam? Do you know if there's a Canadian version? I don't know anything about Canada's specifications for their exam, so I would assume that it's only for the US exam. I would probably email Rad Tech Bootcamp if you are interested in that. Personally, I don't know information about that, so sorry, I can't really answer your question. Someone asked, how do you practice for the board exam on Rad Tech Bootcamp, which I will show you guys a little bit later in the video here. Some of you said that you had to purchase it for your program, which I thought was really interesting. So someone said to do a walkthrough, which I will be doing later in the video. 
What do you think is the most important part of Rad Tech Bootcamp? Is it the practice mock test that's similar to the board exam or do you think watching the videos are more helpful? So I thought the videos were helpful when I was actually in my program. So during this last semester, this spring semester, I was taking radiation safety and biology. And a lot of those videos were super helpful to learn all of the stochastic, non-stochastic, biological effects. So those videos were really helpful for me to learn that. I actually really, really, really understood that material because of Radsec Bootcamp. I personally loved the question bank. So they have the mock exam, yes, but they also have a comprehensive review, which is over a thousand questions. So that is what I used. So I will show you guys that but those comprehensive questions are in that mock exam. So you can literally take it as many times as you want, but the mock exam is just so you can kind of get the feel of what it would be like to sit for two hours to take an exam. I personally didn't really use the mock exam because I just took questions over and over and over and over again. Those are all the questions. A lot of you guys were asking, was the board's exam hard? What was on the board's exam? Things like that. I guess asking if it was hard is kind of subjective because each person is going to struggle in different areas. I personally didn't think it was hard. Like I said, I got a really good score in my opinion and I'm really proud of myself for the score that I got. Also, you can't share anything that's on the ARRT exam. It's actually an ethics violation to reveal anything that's on the ARRT exam, so can't disclose any of that info, but I can talk about what I used to study. So my dogs are barking. I'm gonna do a screen recording so you guys can kind of see what Rad Tech Bootcamp looks like. And then I'll show you guys the different features and things like that that I used to study. So you guys do well on your boards exam. Best of luck to you all. And I will see you guys very soon in a new video.